Dear viewers, welcome to another episode of Enforce Tech TV, live from Enforce Tech 2022, live here from Nuremberg. Today with me, I have Ringo from Glen Air. Ringo, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. Before we start to get into your company and your products, please tell me, how does it feel to be back at Enforce Tech? Yeah, really great. I mean, I think everybody's missed these types of real life events and it's being true. able to meet. So, absolutely great after this long COVID break, yeah. For those people who do not know or do not have an, uh, an idea what Glen Air is all about, would you mind giving us a small rundown of your company in general? Sure. So Glen Air is an uh, interconnect solution provider. We are a US-based company from Glendale, California. That's okay. where our name comes from. Uh, but we also have uh, facilities throughout Europe. So we also have production facilities in the UK, Italy, and here in Germany, actually, where we have our space factory. Um, as I said, we do interconnections, so you need to think about components for connectors, cable harnessing, uh, and all that, those types of uh, products for military applications, aerospace and space products. So, and speaking of connectors, now to getting into the terms of connections, but on a much greater scale, what is the product that you are showing here at Enforce Tech? Yeah, so specifically here at Enforce Tech, this is after all a defense oriented event. Uh, we are uh, showcasing and featuring our StarPen product line. And StarPen, uh, which, which is uh, showed here on the table, is actually a C4 ISR integration platform to integrate uh, C4 ISR peripheral devices or equipment on the soldier, so on the, on the man. How does that work specifically? Give us a rundown of the system. Sure, so basically the core of our system is a hub. So it's actually a USB data and power hub. So I have an example here. This is our smaller hub, a StarPen 2. Um, so what the hub does, it has two core features or two core capabilities. One, it does data distribution. So it connects a radio or a sensor, camera or a GPS to a computing device, which can be a tablet or a laptop or a phone. Uh, and it makes sure that the data from the device gets transferred to the, to the computing device. The second capability or feature that it has, it offers power distribution and smart power management. So your system is not only connecting peripheral, peripheral, peripheral uh, stuff, but it's also, contact, uh, it's also connecting the information gathering of entire units. Yes, exactly, yes, yeah. So it, it is there to enable uh, a personal area, personal area network, as we call it, so that everything that a soldier normally carries on the man and that is uh, functioning isolated is now all integrated into one network and is communicating with each other. Yeah. So how does this look in the field? What do we have here? Yeah, so I, we can show you on the, on the vest here. Am so, I, so I'm allowed to touch it and turn it around? Absolutely, <laughs> go ahead. So if you open that back panel there, uh, you can see that inside, in this bag here, is our StarPen 6, which is our largest man wearable hub. Uh, so the StarPen 6 has six data ports, and those six data ports are there to connect radios, like in this case, this mesh networking radio here, uh, laser rangefinders, other sensors, cameras, could be UAV uh, ground control station, anything that is able to produce some sort of a data stream, uh, and receive power from a central battery, which is actually on the other side there of the, of the vest. Which you can see here, right? Yeah, exactly. So what we do, we have some smart power management within the system. So we take battery power from a central battery and we push that battery power to any peripheral device that is connected, like this, this uh, thermal imaging laser rangefinder, uh, that radio that is connected, and the phone, the end user device that the, that the operator is using to view his uh, battlefield management software. So it's all about gathering intel and distributing this intel through other units, whether it's JTAG or Force Recon or anything. Absolutely. But you also brought us an example on how this would actually look like on a practical level. Yes. Yeah, so what I can show or demonstrate here on this uh, tablet, this is all connected to a, uh, a StarPen 4. So we actually have uh, an application uh, which offers a uh, graphical user interface so that the end user that is carrying the system has status information from the system. So he can tell his, his battery status, he can, give the, can get the battery status from his end user device. <laughs> he knows how many hours 
he has left in his main system battery and he can even charge his main system battery through our hub. For instance, if he gets into a vehicle, he plugs a vehicle power cable into the vehicle and he charges his whole system. Yeah. And then on the data side, I can show you. Uh, in this case, we are demonstrating here with a battlefield management application called ATAC. Uh, but we are integrated with many battlefield management applications out there. Okay. Uh, we just need a map engine basically to show the capabilities of the system. So because we have a radio network set up now, what you see here, you see a blue dot. Uh, you basically see each other's position on the map. Yeah. So this, this tablet is, is uh, publishing its own position on this radio network. Okay and it's going across the radio network because we distribute the data to that radio network. Now to show you another example of how that data distribution works, I have a small laser rangefinder which is also connected to my hub here. Now as soon as I fire a laser shot, you see something happening on my map. So actually, uh, the data that's coming from the laser rangefinder goes through our hub to the tablet and it produces a target line and a sensor point of interest of where that target shot has been fired. So it's very easy for the, for the operator to target something and derive a location, uh, MGRS coordinate or a lat long coordinate of that location. So that is the, how the system works and how we distribute the data between all these devices. Ringo, throughout the development of the system, on this scale, what would you say, what were the major, the, the major difficulties you had to overcome in order to provide the product just as you can see it now here at Enforce Tech? Well, the biggest challenge always for us is the enormous variety of peripheral products that uh, any soldier wants to connect to. Exactly, right. Yeah. So um, that's why we chose the one core feature for our system is interoperability. So none of our system uh, has any proprietary protocols or, or, uh, or features on it. Okay. And everything is aimed at system interoperability. So like I said, we use USB, we use all these standard industry protocols to transfer data, and we use a NATO standard connector interface to make sure that we can connect to all this. But of course, because there's such a wide variety, always the biggest challenge for us is to understand what are the the end user's requirements, what does he want to connect to, and how does that device work, and to make sure that we can integrate it into our system seamlessly. So yeah. They say chances are for those who are prepared, and apparently you have to be prepared for any possible connection that you have might to establish. Exactly. John. Ringo, thank you very much for your time. If you, viewers, are now interested in Glen Air, where can those people find you? Yeah, so of course we're on the web, uh, glenair.com. And if you're at Enforce Tech, come look us up at, uh, in Hall 12 at uh, booth 382. Uh, so yeah, come visit us. Ringo, thank you very much for your time. If you happen to like this video, please feel free to give it a like, drop us a question in the comments, or even subscribe to this channel. Ringo, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Moritz.